Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Less D experience where I'll mo <laughs> people all I'm sorry. Where our motto is, you know, everybody needs therapy. We're not no professionals here. We're just people sharing experiences and opinions and things like that and addressing addressing issues. As you can see, I'm officially back trying to fight a cold. So disregard if I start sounding like I'm reaching puberty, prayers are through. <laughs> so anyway, there is a lot going on and I don't want to uh, waste time because it's a situation that's going to be a very, very loaded topic. And I'm very passionate about it. So I'm going to try to talk slow so I won't get caught up in my feelings and won't be yelling at the computer screen and things like that. And the house rules are also that everybody has to be respectful. We can, you know, agree to disagree, but we need to be respectful when we do it. Okay. Now I wanted to start the new year off with something funny and, and, and light and we have a very good time. I'm breathing so I won't get excited. Hey, oh, how you doing? So I'm gonna be taking a lot of breaths and I don't have to rush today like I usually have to rush, but this is something that really has to be addressed. Now, anybody who has been following me even a small amount of time know that I do not bash men at all. And I actually been getting some complaints that, you know, you always on the men's side, you always doing stuff for men, you know, things like that. So I know for a fact that I don't bash men. You guys have a really, really, really good here on the Less D experience, you know. However, some of you are acting up. Yes. And of course, not all of you. I don't need nobody coming on here and saying, it ain't all men. I know it's not all men. I said some of you have been act acting up in social media. Now, I know a lot of people know who Meek Mill is or, you know, I wasn't even going to discuss Meek. I, I wasn't. You know, he got up, and I'm paraphrasing, he got up saying something like, oh, what would he say? In two 2019, I want all Black women to, what, stop wearing wigs or weave something, he said. I overlook like that because Meek ain't paying my bills. Meek don't even turn me on. So I'm like, I looked over it. And then, you know, my page is public. And so then the very first incident that really like got my goat, a gentleman, see, I'm taking it slow, y'all, because I don't want to call names and do what I'm asking you guys not to do. So I'm going to take it a bomber slow on today. All right. This gentleman posted and it showed up in my feed a plus size woman with the average size man and he put under the caption guys what advice would you give this man and when i say those men dragged that woman and make it so bad to add insult to injury he went on the guy's page, he had no business over there. Copied the picture, posted it on his page, and then he put, you know, the comment down there, what would you guys advise this man to do or not to do? And it was stuff up like there, I'm gonna have to be candid, I always tell y'all, get the children out the room because this is a raw show. So I'm gonna try to like water it down. But he was saying stuff like, you know, not him and his friends, they were saying things like, man, don't get on the bottom. Man, don't let her sit on your face. I'm just being real with everybody grown. You know, man, get some arm extensions. It, it was so childish. And my jaw just dropped. I'm talking about these are not teenagers, college students, middle schoolers, grown, grown men sitting there and roasting this woman. And she was not an ugly woman at all. She was just heavy set and not even sloppy or whatever. She just, you know, she had on a negligee or some kind of form-fitting thing. And her man was loving it and it was hugging her. 
you know, and so they dragged that woman to filth. And so I, I usually don't respond to stuff, yo, but the stuff that I can't even repeat on my show, because I don't want to have that type of language here. The stuff they were saying about that woman just because of her size was disgusting. It, it was just like, and so, and then it was like a whole bunch of ha-ha and hee-hee and joking her and all of this stuff. So I actually sat and watched how many men was going to have something to say. It was like, boop, 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 boop. It was like, sounded like a pinball machine. And I just sat there. And I don't know this woman. I don't know her from Eve. No, I don't. But I just sat there. And I watched it just ding, 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 ding. I know I had to watch it for 30 minutes. Then I finally had to say something. It wasn't bad, <laughs> but I say something. I was like, you know, it was something to the effect of like, okay, how old are you people? How old are you? Instead of worrying about her size and her man liking her for her size and everything else, why don't y'all try to figure out how to get some unity with our people? Why don't y'all try to brainstorm on how to get clean water for Flint? That's all I said. And then some joker was going to try to match wits with me and get me straight. Oh, anybody who knows me, I love a good debate, especially when I know I'm right. And he tried it and he tried it and I came back and I came back and I wasn't even like, I was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The stuff he was saying was so ignorant. I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. And then he finally said, he said, you must look like a, you so passionate about it. So I left that alone. Then he tried to jump in my DMs. I said, no, let's keep it to the public page, you know. So I tried to leave that alone. I still said the first show of the New Year's, we're going to do something happy and fun, like survival skills or who like Bigfoot, something crazy like that. And then I'm taking a deep breath, y'all. I'm taking a deep breath. Got another notification. That was just outright ridiculous. Now, somebody wanted to jump on Meek Mill's bandwagon and say, ladies, my black women, stop being ashamed of your heritage and who you are and put down um, the weaves and the wigs and the makeup. I want a natural woman. You need to be a natural woman. You know, y'all need to get some pride about yourself. That did it for me. And before, you know, I didn't even, because, you know, it, it, that did it for me. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, you know. And so I was like, hmm, let me see what these men look like. And I don't usually do that. But they were so passionate. And I went, I, calming myself down. So I went to the second guy's page. So then I went back to the other guy's page and I was like, Ooh, really, really? Okay. So I gave you guys a little backstory because I don't need usually tackle this ignorant stuff. But my question is, the thing that really bothered me with all of it, but especially the second one, when it was um, acting like if a woman did this or that to her hair or her face, or anything like that. She had no pride in her people or herself. And do you know, I sat there on this one for like 45 minutes and just watched the comments on this. Not one man, not one had enough kahunas to tell the guy who posted it, yo man, come on man, is this really necessary? Or if you ain't have but one, he could have said, man, come on man. All this is, you know, come on, man. Or I love my queens or blah, blah, blah. Nobody defended the black woman. Nobody. The only people that was dragging him and trying to defend the, the heavyset woman and defend the women who wants to do whatever they want to do with their face and their hair and things like that were women. And ironically enough, it was natural women defending 
that a woman can do whatever she wants with her hair, her face, her eyes, her nails or whatever. And I was sitting there and I was just sitting there, all the things that we have to deal with and, and, and get solutions to and resolutions for and things like that. Why is this tomfoolery on social media? What the crap is going on? You know, and, and I, I need, first of all, some uh, men to explain something to me. Now, I don't want to call certain names out, you know, celebrities and things like that. That wouldn't be right for them. But you all know, and we all know that some of the stuff, most of the things that we see in film, music, television, everything, women are not in their natural state. And you same men who are doing this, not the ones who aren't, but the ones who are making mockery and jokes uh, of their women. Y'all be standing in line to hit one of those movie stars or one of them songsters or whatever people like to call it, you know, who are not in their natural state. And let me tell y'all something. There are a lot of reasons why women wear this, do that, whatever else, and this and this and that. I was going to come down um, up here with some statistics and some actual facts about who started wearing what first. It wasn't the African-American woman. No, it's not. And that the African-American woman is not the only one who's wearing this or that or whatever else. No. And somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's very few and far in between that I see another race of men consistently, constantly downing their women. Don't y'all think we need, we deal with enough? I mean, I mean, and then my question was to one gentleman, um, he was like, uh, he said something retarded. And I was like, so y'all don't know what you, what do you want? What, what do you think natural is? I mean, are you saying you don't want her with a perm in her hair? You want her to straighten it with the straightening comb or you want her to wear a buzz cut like one of the Wakanda warriors? Do you want her with an afro? Do you want her bare face, bare nailed? What do you constitute as natural? Do you even know? Um, I don't even, hold on, I'm trying to get everybody up there. Hey, Keon and Otis and I'm sorry guys, I'm just babbling on, my mouse is not here, my mouse is lost and Corey, and how you guys doing, or whatever else. But I need um, Sue's, hey, Sue's girl. <laughs> you know, and, I, and I, it's sad to say, but I only saw women defending other women. And um, some of the guys I'm even looking at, like now, I know like Wayne and Corey, and I know Keon, he don't be playing them games, and Otis and all of them. The men I'm looking at now, it was not the men, type of men that was doing this tomfoolery. You know, but my question is, why? Why do men feel it necessary? Thanks, Susie. Thanks so much for your remedy. Yeah, I sounded like a man yesterday, <laughs> but I'm much better now. Um, why do why do men find it necessary to drag us if whatever woman that you're looking at is not your taste, something that you would enjoy? Just move on. Why would you take the time to go onto your Facebook page or your Instagram or whatever, whatever social media outlet you're using and just steal someone's photo and just solicit and invite other people to drag her? I just, I, I, somebody need to tell me something. Uh, maybe, I, I, maybe I'm missing something. But let me give you guys some information since no one is saying anything yet. There are various reasons why women do what they do. First of all, okay, hold on. Otis is saying, what I find kind of funny is that a lot of these guys who put down black women for wearing weaves, wigs, makeup, etc. What in the world? Okay, I'm sorry. Etc. Okay. I'm trying to read everybody's guys. And guys, please don't 
text me responses and things like that. If you have something you want to say, put it up here. And no one's going to stone you or whatever else. This is a judgment-free zone. Okay, so stop texting me. I can't answer the phone because I'm on the live. <laughs> but, um, oh, this is saying it makes no sense for a brother to do that. You know, you know can I get candid? I'm going to say again a disclaimer. Anybody who's been following me, no, I do not put down our brothers, our kings, or whatever else. Society does enough of that. But let me give you guys some quick little tidbits and analogies. I think we women put up with a lot. We do. We put up with a lot. We accept a lot. Things we shouldn't accept sometimes, you know? We tolerate a lot. Sisters have long suffering <laughs> when it comes to our men. One man said, and I'm paraphrasing, and I hope they on here. I hope they challenge me today. Yeah. One man says, I don't want to go to bed with a woman, and she roll one way and her hair roll another way. My response to that is, well, maybe a woman don't want to go to bed and you proclaim you got, and you don't have that. You see what I'm saying? So everybody disappointed in the bedroom. <laughs> We're going to keep it real today. Yes, we are. You know, another dude was like, you know, I don't understand why she can't just, you know, go ball and this, this, and that, and whatever else. Y'all the same people who would be ashamed to take her out the house because she don't fix herself up. Why don't you do something with yourself? Why don't you fix yourself up? You guys have no idea what we do or go through to pacify you, to make you want us or love us or whatever women do. You know, I'm at the point like, whatever, you get what you get. You know, but other women still go through the stuff we put our bodies through, the stuff we put ourselves through emotionally, mentally, like I said, physically, the heels, the, some people do waist trainers, all that stuff is so that you can feel good with us on your arm. Are you serious? What do you want? What do you want from us? What do you want? Hey, Jack, what's up? You know, I mean, you want us, and I think it's such a double standard. We are expected Really? They acting up behind the scenes. <laughs> we are expected to be perfect. You want to see the light of day through our thighs. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. But you guys expect us to love you knock knee, pigeon toe, one leg, no leg, half a third leg. We're supposed to do all that. You know, we are expected to have flat tummies, even after you've requested three, four, five, six, or more children. You want us to pop right back like silly putty. Yes, you do. But yet, we're supposed to love and accept you. And you need a mirror to see how your little one doing. You see what I'm saying? Whatever. My production team is whatever. <laughs> you know, as I mean, you guys expect us to have perfect teeth and perfect this and this and that. You know, but... You, it's okay for you to look like a hockey player. You know, that's a double standard. You want us to do all of these things, but we have to accept you the way you are. And I don't think that's fair. I really don't. And even if Meek Mill or the guy who was, you know, dragging the women, you know, the other guy, whatever else, it is okay for you to have those desires and those, you know, things that because certain things turn people, certain people on, certain things don't turn other people on. But my question is, why the woman who you going to bed with or paying your bill, her bills, or she's probably paying yours or whatever else, you need to convey that to her. You know, you need to go, hey, baby, you know, I want you to snatch your wig off or your weave out or your nails off or whatever his hang up is. And I want you to be this way. That would make more sense. I think that's wrong still, but hey, that would make more sense than you putting a, a public public service announcement out 
all you women in 2019, y'all need to take this off, take that out, whatever. You're not doing none of those women. You're not paying none of their bills. Probably ain't paying on your. Why? Why is that necessary? How do we expect other people of other races to honor us and respect us when we can't honor and respect each other? There are more important things to be talking about than what's in somebody's head or in their mouth or piercing of a tattoo, whatever. Why don't somebody get together, all you fake woke people? Because I declare some of y'all ain't woke, you're sleepwalking. You're only doing it because it's a fad. You see what I'm saying? If y'all are so woke, why are you wasting all of that social media platform to talk about how inadequate you think your black women are? Why don't you use that platform to go, yo, fellas who do have a job, who's not sitting at home all day playing video games, hey, why don't we get together and adopt a family from Flint? Or how can we get a big giant exodus from Flint, Michigan to other states and get this organization together, this nonprofit together? Because if we get enough of them out there, the state will act like this or the government will act like this. Why isn't that the conversations that's being had on social media? It's ridiculous. We go through enough as black females or Females of color, period, Latina, all kinds of stuff. We go through enough just trying to survive being a female. Why do we have to look in our, and it's not like I'm trolling nobody's pages. It pops up in my feed, like, constantly, constantly, somebody dragging somebody. Get out of here, man. If you don't like it, don't look. But don't put a public service announcement out, all black women, and then imply that we don't have black pride. We're not proud of who we are because somebody put a wig in their head or a weave or uh, a piercing or nails or whatever else. Don't you know if we ain't have black pride, y'all nigga? Y'all people will not be here. I almost slipped. I was getting excited. Please forgive me, cheeringses. <laughs> But if the black woman has not in the past and currently stood up, some of y'all wouldn't even be here. Most of us don't have no help. Wasn't raised with a daddy, don't have no current help, consistent help, or it's gonna be temporary help if she don't act right. Come on, I think that's wrong. It's wrong and I'm gonna stop yakking and Jack is saying, if a woman takes the time to become the woman of my dreams, then I must step up my game. Hello? He Jack? Hello? Wow. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Who else? Who else has to miss? I'm, I missed everybody on here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, Edgar, how you doing, darling? You know, I, I, just, I just think it's a travesty. And if you guys, I solicited my wonderful men, my men with intelligence and common sense and, and dignity and, and, and pride for their queens. If you guys come across this foolishness, you know, don't be afraid to say, yo, man, get out of here, stop being whack. You know, if you don't even go that far, unfriend them or something. I mean, somebody needs to stand up for us. So many of us through our childhood and up until this point didn't have anybody to protect us to look out for us. You see what I'm saying? Why don't you change that this year? If you see another brother where you guys are in the barber shop, at the car wash, at the gas station, or wherever men go to do what men do, if you hear somebody, or on your Facebook pages, you see somebody or hear somebody clowning a woman for no reason whatsoever, why don't you dare to be different and say, yo, man, don't do that. Well, why don't somebody stick up for us for a change? We go to bat for you guys all the time. Yes, we do. And I know every black woman ain't this and that. Oh, come on, man. I ain't talking about, I'm not doing isms and schisms. I'm not going tit for tat. But in general, why don't you guys protect us? Somebody need to look out for us. We look out for you. We look out for your babies. Some of us, we look out for your mamas. You know, come on. Why don't somebody look out for us? Don't let anybody 
whether it's another race of men or whether it's, you know, people who look like you. Don't let nobody drag your sisters, man. Drag your queens. Are you serious? Me, myself, I know I held down on a consistent basis two jobs. And every now and then I threw a little third part-time part job in there, you know, raising my children. Going back to college at the same time, you know, when I would have the one and a half, you know, worked on the week, you know, go to night school, work on the weekend, study for exams. You know, it's a lot of sisters hustling, you know, you know, back when my children were smaller, you know, I had a minivan and whenever I would see a sister walking with uh, groceries in her hand or walking with kids, I would, you know, pull over and pick her up, <clears throat> pick her up. Where you going, baby? Well, I'm going the opposite way. Well, that's where I'm going to. You know, I just, I just don't understand it. We, we deserve so much better. We do. You know, we need somebody to look out for us and to fend for us and things like that. Jack is saying, when I was younger, I used to step in when women were being abused by men. But sadly, they won't. They, they won't. Don't mind. What? Okay, he was saying think twice, but I'm not talking about thinking twice um, in a domestic dispute. I'm not talking about you see somebody fighting and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the foolishness that be on social media, you know, and things like that when they're talking about women like a dog, you know. I'm not talking about breaking up nobody's, you know, domestic tiff or anything like that. No, no, no. I'm talking about just what I experienced. I mean, I had to be over a hundred and something comments from men laughing at that, you know, the plus size sister or dragging black women because they put stuff in their hair or their hair is red or their hair is blonde or, and whatever else. And, you know, sometimes women just want to change it up without ruining their natural hair, you know, and you guys would be amazed. Just like when you guys go get your hair cut face all trimmed up and you go tea on fleek and everything else like that, you know, it uplifts you. It uplifts your spirit, you know, to have a change or you feeling like you I'm feeling myself today. Yeah. You know, we need that. We go through a lot through the course of a day, a week, a month. And so to sit down in a chair and some woman go, girl, I want to do something different. I'm going to bring your sexy out or make you look like a vixen or whatever the case may be. Why can't she just do that to make herself feel good or have a little pick-me-up? Some women are dealing with alopecia. They can't grow hair. Some women um, have been like boiled with acid or stuff thrown in their face and in their hair and stuff from a domestic um, situation and they can't grow hair, you know? Some people have went through these horrible beauticians and had their scalp damaged. It's a whole bunch of reasons. Some people just want to do something different and change it up for you guys. Yes. So until y'all stop supporting and gawking over Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, all the rest of them, whatever else, you know, because, you know, they ain't all natural, baby. Then y'all come talk to us about what we need to do and what we need to this and this and that. Come on, man. I'm just saying. I'm not talking about, you know, no domestic stuff. I'm not talking about that. But I'm just talking about, you know, look out for your sisters. Stop allowing men to drag your queens. I'm not even getting to the celebrities that talk about they ain't got nothing for a dark-skinned woman or they want to get a this type of woman or that type of woman because she's more submissive and docile and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Hey, get a life. <laughs> Are you serious? If we weren't as strong as we were, we wouldn't have survived. We cannot survive currently with the stuff that's going on, that's being done to us. You know, black girls go missing by the thousands and no one looks for them. Nobody's looking for our babies, man. Are you serious? I don't know one black woman that don't have a, a story of being touched or something inappropriately happening when she was growing up. Just being a woman, period. But try adding some pigment to a woman. And that's H on earth. So 
we get to this point and our men are dragging us? Some of you good, upstanding, awesome men, look out for us, man. There is a lot of bold women in India. What is that supposed to mean, um, Jack? Is that a joke? I don't want to respond inappropriately. So you need to explain yourself before I respond. Is that supposed to be cute? I'm gonna move on to Susie before I respond to Jack. Susie is saying, because they don't look for brown children, it's so, so sad. Yeah, they don't look for brown children, Susie. And I thank you for having something intelligent to say. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go so I won't react. Okay, excuse me. I'll check you guys later. Good, bad, or indifferent, I can only be me. And I be down for you guys almost all the time when I do these shows. So I'm not man bashing at all, because a real man would do none of the things that we were just discussing. Not a real man, no sir. So I don't man bash, but I tell the truth. And somebody needs to protect us for a change. Look out for us, uplift us, see the beauty in us. Not no sexual beauty, but who we are, where we come from, what we endure how hard we love. Yes, stop worrying about what's on the outside of us and worry about what's in here. We're good enough to have you babies. We're good enough to take care of you. Increase your credit score. Do whatever we need to do for you. We're good enough for those things, so don't get on social media and bash us. Protect your queens, man. All right, I'm out of here. Keep the conversations going. Wow.